We want to begin this hour with breaking news. A police pursuit of two suspected human trafficking suspects ended in a deadly crash on Koreatown. One innocent person was killed and two others were injured. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live at the scene on West 6th Street and Wilton Place with what we know so far. Joy. Yeah, good morning, guys. Certainly a very tough situation and a sad scene. As you mentioned, we have learned that a young man in his 20s did lose his life here. But I want to show you the scene as it stands right now. So we have several vehicles involved, four in total. Um, the car over to the right-hand side that you see up there up against the bushes, we are told that is the vehicle that was carrying the two suspects that Los Angeles police officers were in pursuit of early this morning in what they are calling a human trafficking case. Certainly some very tense moments out here on the corner of 6th Street and Wilton. Just around midnight last night, that's when we are told this all went down. Investigators with the Los Angeles Police Department tell us that police officers spotted that suspect vehicle not too far away in what they say was a human trafficking um, situation that they were doing some sort of a task force at Melrose and Western when they observed a possible human trafficking suspects drop off a victim there at that location. They tried to pull the vehicle over, but instead it drove away, and that's when we were told they were in that short pursuit here at 6th and Wilton when the car went in through the intersection and collided with three more vehicles. Now, inside those vehicles, the white truck in particular, that's when we are told a young man in his 20s was in that vehicle. He unfortunately died here on the scene. A passenger in his car was taken to the hospital. There was also someone taken to the hospital in one of the each one of the other vehicles. So in total, we had three innocent victims taken to the hospital with unknown conditions, but we're told they're stable. One person who died, and then there were two suspects in that suspect vehicle who were arrested and also taken to the hospital. Certainly, um, still a lot of investigating to be done. The coroner is on the scene and just remove the body from that white vehicle in that particular intersection here. So that is under investigation, but we obviously don't need to show you that um, since this is obviously a very sensitive situation that we have out here. But a lot of information that we still don't have as far as what exactly this human trafficking case was about, why the task force was following this car to begin with, and then, of course, what happened with the collision. And that's why they have two separate investigations going on right now, guys.